What's going on guys? Wade with Wade's Ventures here and I'm showing you guys the last of the storage unit. So if you guys have not seen the storage unit, we took footage. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. It's in the storage unit. It's antique vintage unit guys. Um, it's a really cool unit and everybody was like, do the unboxing. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to show you the last of the stuff that we're going to take, um, you know, video of, and then we're going to get into the good stuff, which is the radio stuff. Now there is two other uh, boxes that we're going to do a video on, which is all records, um, old records. So we'll do that video, but let me kind of show you guys what's left here real quick. And then we'll go through this here. So, and before we do, Hit the like button if you can, and smash the subscribe button. Um, basically, we're a storage unit, eBay, and Amazon family, and we do a full-time, guys, and actually, possibly, here in the next six months, getting a warehouse, which is going to be great, because I can have my house back and my garage back. So, But let's go through, and uh, let me show you guys what's left. So, basically, uh, this is the stuff that's left that we're going to kind of go through right now. And um, I don't know if we're going to fit all in one video or not, but we're going to go through this stuff. And then we have uh, a couple boxes of records. And then we have the radio stuff the all, and, and slash electronics. So, all right. So let me set you down. I'm going to try to get some of this big stuff out of the way and show you guys that so I can clear some room here. And let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. I'm going to put you down right here. Well, first... Let me just show you some of the big stuff and we can get the stuff out of the way a little bit here, okay? So we have a premium down um, uh, Calvin Klein jacket. Um, this thing probably retails close to $300 to $350. And this was in the unit, guys. Um, it's a very long, long jacket. And it's new with tags. So this was in the unit. So I'll probably sell this thing for $150 bucks to $180. So it is a premium down jacket, which is um, really good condition and it's brand new. And that was in the unit guys. So, all right, so we got this bad boy. It's a really, really cool. All right, so let's do a couple of these big items here just to make room. Now we also have this crock pot. Believe it or not, this was in the unit guys. Not, a, not like a crazy old crock pot or anything. But this was in the unit and it's sealed. So a brand new crock pot, never used. And uh, so that was in there as well, guys. So that's a bigger one, it's six quarts. So who knows, maybe I'll just uh, have to keep this thing. But again, that's was in the unit. I already paid for the unit um, with the, the thousand dollars for the gold that I sold. So, I mean, just this is crazy. This unit keeps on paying. So, all right, let me move this down. And then we'll continue. The next big item we have is this bad boy here. It is um, they, they basically for cigars, from what I understand. Um, I don't know a lot about this this tray here, this ashtray, but it is in really good condition. Now it is a little bit bent, as you can see, it's a little bit bent, um, but overall really good condition. Let me show you. You have to be careful of this glass because it does come out. So we'll move it out of there just for a quick second. It's weird how they put felts down here. Um, so yeah, there's the top. Oop. And here's the bottom, guys. And this one says, um, looks like Salem 59-3 or something like that. So anyways, guys, I know some somebody's gonna want this piece um, let me put this back here, and this is, uh, glass for it, so, all right, let's go on to the next big item. All right, so we did show this in the main photo, or sorry, the main video. Now, it does have a crack here. I did test it. It does turn on, and this is an old meat slicer, guys. Um, you know, honestly, I don't know how much this thing's worth. I have not checked. It looks in pretty good condition. And you gotta be careful you don't take off your finger because the blade is still on there. Um, but yeah, this is the old meat slicer. And then also it comes with this, which you puncture in the meat and then it pushes it towards the blade. So I've got this here and the meat slicer. I'll show you guys the model number on this thing. 
or try to anyways. Let me see if I can angle the camera over here. All right, I can't. So let me, model number is 1101E-3. So that's the model number. Um, anyways, let me know guys if you think that this is worth any good money. We still have to check comps on it, but um, looks pretty good. And uh, like I said, just that, um, just that little crack there. So, all right, let's go on to the next big item. All right, we have an ice cream maker here, guys. Um, my mom's like, that's the one I had when I was a kid. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, you love ice cream. Um, all right, so this is the ice cream maker original box. Um, and it is in there. It's in a fabulous condition. How many of you guys actually buy ice cream makers and never make ice cream? Like, I feel like that's a thing that people buy these things and they never make it. At least that's kind of an appliance that happens to me or you use it like once. So it's got the the manual and you always can sell, sell them for more when you have the manual. Um, oh, and it actually gives you like recipes in here too. Uh, let's see, I don't see a, I don't see a um, actual date on it, but look guys, it's all in there. They took really good care of their stuff. So, and let's see, it says the first and only frozen dessert appliance. I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I don't know if that's right, but, and look, back then they paid $41.95 for this thing back then. So, I don't know how old it is. I'll have to check. But probably, what, 40s? I don't know. Anyways, let's go on to the next here. All right, you're wondering what the heck is in the box? Well, it's actually brand new, guys. Never used. And it's a fireplace tools. Fireplace, basically where you put it by your fireplace and it's pewter, guys. Now, I've sold a lot of pewter stuff. It does go for good money a lot of times. This particular one, brand new, I think is 160 bucks. Um, so $160 pewter fireplace, um, but yeah, that it, pewter guys is really, I've sold a lot of pewter dragons and like knickknacks pewter and they always sell for me. But as you guys can see, I only opened the top and it's still wrapped in there guys. Brand new. So just between this and the coat, I've already paid for half of the unit, even if I didn't turn the gold in. <laughs> it's crazy. I haven't listed one thing from this unit. And um, it's just like, I've already paid for it, made $400 profit, and I haven't even listed one item yet, so. All right, so let's go on to the next big thing. All right, we're just busting out these big things so we can make room here. So this is a fresh bread baker. Um, you can make your own bread, guys. I've always, sometimes I've thought about making my own bread, but I don't know, there's the tag. Now, I don't think this thing is brand new. Um, and honestly, I don't know how much it will go for. It's not extremely old or anything. I mean, it's older. It was probably 90s. Um, but if you look in here, like it's dirty. I got to clean it. But then they kept such good care of their stuff. They kept the, uh, the plastic on here. You guys see that? So, I mean, it's just, it's still in really good condition. But it was used, um, as you guys can see. They did make bread, bread with it, so. Who knows, maybe I'll make my own bread. Um, but this is one of the items, guys. All right, you're wondering what is in this long box. So, um, yes, this, guys, goes with, I think, the projector. I could be wrong. Um, I actually haven't opened it yet. A lot of these items, like, for example, this box we're gonna go through, I've not even been in this box yet, so. Uh, I just haven't had time, so you guys have seen it the first time, but yeah, this is a, um, and we're going to open it real quick and see, because um, like I said, I haven't even opened it. Let me put you down real quick, guys, just so I can um, open it up and see. All right. Oh yeah, it's a projector. Um... Or not a projector, excuse me, a projector screen, I think. Yeah, so that's probably what they use the projector. Let's see, there's a little bit of, what is that? I don't know. Um, 
something there. But yeah, it's the projector screen, you guys see? Oh, anyway, it's in there, guys. I don't think it's brand new, but uh, we do have a projector. In fact, I think we have two out of this unit, so. All right, let's go on to the next big thing. All right, two more bigger things left, and then we're gonna get this unboxing stuff out of the way. So guys, this is really cool. It's a Dirt Devil. I don't think you can ever kill these things. My grandma has one, she still uses it. Um, this one looks like it's in pretty good condition. I don't know what the market is for them. I've actually never sold a, I've sold like um, filters for vacuums all the day long, but I've never sold one of these. So we'll have to look and see if these things are even, you know, made in the United States, Royal. I have to see if they're actually selling and what they're selling for, but it does work. Um, all right, so the last thing that's big is this bad boy. There's a, a wobble to it. Let me see, is it missing? I don't know, all the legs are there. Maybe it's just the table. Okay. Ooh, I don't remember going through this. Maybe, maybe I did. I don't remember, let me get the camera ready here so we can see what's in here. You never know, I found rings and random stuff and is that a bullet? What is that? Oh, it is, wow. Just a random, is it? Yeah, it says made USA. No, or it, no, I can't read that. Let's see if it pops up on the screen here. Man, this blurry screen's killing me. Okay, so yeah, nothing in there. Looks like some jewelry. Some ribbon. And we got a bunch of stuff in here. What is in here? I gotta make sure I don't... Like, oh, here's some more buttons. We did that video, guys, if you wanna see kind of the crafty stuff out of the unit. We already did that. So, gotta make sure, when you're looking through craft stuff, you gotta make sure there's no needles, like the little, not needles, but like those little, um, you know, what are they called? They put in fabric, those fabric needles, because I have been poked with those before. Uh, oh, here's a zipper in the case. No snag, zipper, white. For his skirts, maybe? Brand new. Huh. All right. Let me put the camera down. I'll, I'll start pulling some of this out here. Let's see what's in here. All right, let's see what's in here. So we have some yarn. Mom loves yarn. And some thread there. Some more thread. And, oh, what the heck is this thing? It just says Susan Bates. Mom would know, Susan Bates. <clears throat> mom, are you watching? Are you watching? All right, let me know in the comments, Mom. <laughs> oh, here's a black zipper. <clears throat> so now we have a white and a black brand new zipper back in the day. And we have a little hat for, oh, I think this is a, a pin. Pins, yes, pins. Sorry guys. Oh, here we go. Yep, old fashioned pins. So you gotta watch out for those suckers. They will get you. Um, I don't know, lace maybe? So some lace. Uh, some more. That's. And then kind of some knickknack patty wax in here. Random small stuff. Here's some more needles, if you guys can see that. So 
So, all right, let's put this stuff in here. Oh, are you guys ever this when you play Monopoly? The thimble? Anybody ever play the thimble? <laughs> Let me know. All right. So a really cool old box though. Let me show you. Let me put this stuff way back in here real quick. It's got like a little ledge right here. Solid wood. It's a beautiful one. I think it's like maybe 15 inches uh, long. So it's a bigger one. That's the bottom of it. See, solid wood. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. All right, as always, um, this is the box here. We're going to go through, guys, and um, it's an old coffee. And uh, we'll go through one thing at a time and show you guys. Spear fingers are here. Got my drink. If you guys get these from uh, uh, Starbucks, they're refreshers. Pretty good. Oh, shout out to Lisa. You're upstairs watching the kids. Shout out to Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much for bringing these every day. Really helps. All right, let's get into this. So the first item we have is we have an urn. Look how beautiful this one is. Real shiny, I would say five inches or so. And this is the back to it. It's kind of faint, but um, it says Japan on there. And then it's black, jet black. All right. What the heck? Got one of these. This is like five inches too. This so was since USA 835. Anybody know what this is? USA 835. Does sell a lot of this stuff. It's kind of a good piece and there's no chips on it. Wait, did we go through this box already? I don't think so. Let me just check. That pig looks familiar. Here's another one. Let's see, give me one second guys. Let me see. I can't remember if I went through this box already or not. I remember that pig. Oh no, we didn't go through this box. Okay. All right. I was wondering, I was like, what the heck? Did we go through? Cause I remember this pig, but, but uh... all right. So here's another one. Um, USA 835, so now I've got two of them right here. And we have this pig. I can't remember if we went, did, the, did, I think I found one other pig, um, salt and pepper shaker, on another video. But maybe the second one wasn't there. That's, that pig threw me off a little bit. Alright, this thing is really cool. So that, <laughs> Look at this thing. I know I didn't show this. Oh, this one says made in Japan, but it's really weird how they put the made in Japan part. You guys see that? Like, it's kind of like indented in there. But look at this thing. So guess what this thing is, guys? I'm gonna give you two seconds. It feels like, like porcelain or clay or something. There's a weird feel to it, but it is really cool. And look at the eyes. If you guys know what this thing is called, let me know. But look, so I, what it does, and the only reason I know this is because it was in here. You put your two picks in there, guys. This is a two pick holder. Look at that. So you put your own little two picks in there. And these are old two picks. I mean, yeah, so it's a two pick holder. That is really cool. All right. Another one of these. I think there's something that goes on the top, kind of like what we saw prior, so I'll see if I find it. Um, but these things are always really cool. All right. Anything in there? Nope. Oh, here's another one. 
huh, maybe I did find the other, uh, maybe there was another set or not. I don't know, maybe, I can't remember. Anyways, there's another pig. So now we've got two pigs. If you guys know what they're called, let me know. Makes it easy to uh, research these things. No, no bottoms to them. Huh, weird. All right, and we have this little guy, this little guy. So there's probably a top in here that goes on top, so let's see if we find it. Wow, this dish is really cool. Look at this thing. Look at the color on it, and you can see is this Viking glass, guys? Or do you think it's Viking glass? Look at the color on that thing, though. It doesn't show up great on camera, but it's such an amazing piece. And I would, look, I mean, look how big it is. So I would say probably 10 inches, maybe 12, maybe 12 inches. Yep. Found it. See? Little egg. And I don't see any markings on it at all. Okay, let's see if I find it. Yep. Here's the other one. I know we haven't gone through these because I wouldn't have packed it like that. So yeah. Just like that. Look at that though. Isn't that beautiful? You guys have an idea what glass it is? Pretty cool. I would say this is five inches. All right, moving right. Oh wow, this is awesome. Look at this little tiny thing. See if it'll focus. Oh, look at that. You guys see that? Look at the color on that. That's the bottom. You can hardly see it, but this thing is cool. Maybe there's a cup in here. What the heck? Look at this. So this is probably about three and a half inches, but it is such, it's kind of a cool piece. I don't know if it's for like a small flowers or what, if it's, or maybe it's a candle. Maybe it's for a candle. I don't know, but interesting. Is this another one? Oh no, this is shot glass. What does this say? Oh, it just has like a little shield and it says L. L or E or something down there. But that's the bottom. So if you guys want, we want to get our bourbon drinking on, we can do that. Have you guys seen my bar yet? Let me show you. Yeah, so you want to get our bourbon drinking on, we can. Can't see it, sorry, there's a box in the way. But I have a little bar and then on the side, you guys remember this? It's from that other storage unit, from the other storage unit. So I got some decanters and all that down there. But all right, let's get working here. All right, let's continue. All right. Oh, this goes to something. I don't, problem is I don't think it, oh, wait, 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 right here. Look at this. That's what it goes to. So, 
got a little top on there. And guys, let me know what this thing is. Like, if you got a name for it, or if you can give me a link, that would be great. But it's in fabulous condition. There's no chips or anything like that. And I, now that's got the top on it, I would say it's like seven inches. So. Oh, here's a party dish. You can put your different dips probably in here. I don't know. But let me focus it. You guys see the ridges on here? Pretty cool. So yeah, and I would say this is 10 inches, probably 10 inches. All right, let me put this stuff away and we'll go to another box. All right, let's get started. So normally um, I don't show the books or the VHSs, not because there's no money in it, just to save time. Um, and some people don't want to see that. There's just two of the all two boxes out of all those that I'm going to show you guys, just so you guys can see, because I think there's money in these books. I have to check though. Um, so if you guys know anything, let me know. But um, let's get into this. And then after we get these two boxes done, we'll have some more boxes out of the same video. So the first one is Electric Circuit Analyst. And um, this is um, pretty good condition. And this is the book. So here's the number for it. All right, let's go to the next one. Radio equipment, or sorry, radio engineering. Here's the next one. It's the top. There's that. And um, that's it. Let's uh, open up the first part here. So this, this looks like it's in the 1940s. Uh, all right, sorry, 19, 1937. There's this book. So there's definitely money in books, guys. I do sell books, primarily Bibles, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I don't know how much this thing's worth, but man, this thing's massive, guys. Um, definitely over 12 inches, but look how thick it is. So if you guys don't, if you guys don't know about Bibles, they sell extremely well. Um, again, depends on the Bible. Older Bibles do better. If you guys know anything about Bibles. Um, I don't sell a ton of them, so let me know on this one if you guys think this is going to be a good one. But you also got to make sure that you look through the Bible because a lot of people will leave money in the Bible. So, like this was uh, this wasn't part of the Bible, guys. Don't worry, it didn't break or anything. But yeah, you got to go through this Bible. This one may be worth some good money though. Um, it's in excellent condition, it seems. Um, Oh, it's all filled out too, so I gotta go through that, but yeah. And, oh, look at those, look at those, uh, just those images, I mean, it's incredible. Um, yeah, so, it's a pretty cool Bible, guys. And it's got kind of the gold around here too. So who knows, that may be some good money there. All right. This one says electrical engineering. And that is the side of it here. And this one says part one. Uh, McGraw Hill Book Company. I don't know anything about this one. Reader's, Reader's Digest. Um, you know, I don't know if old Reader's Digest books go for a ton. You can see that. You can look them up right down there, guys. That's the number. I'll hold it there for two more seconds. Just in case you guys are curious. But yeah. This one looks in pretty good condition as well. You guys can see. So, Reader's Digest. Right. Oh, we have a Tektronix book. Tektronix, an old Tektronix book. Hey, 
this stuff may actually be worth some money. You guys never know. Um, and there's nothing on the front. Yeah, this is 1961. Introduction. The tools and science are basically extensions of the operator's senses. So, all right. We have an old Bible here. It is taped up, so not the greatest condition. Children's Bible. Um, I think the number is missing there because this is definitely older. This is 1950, 1950s, children's Bible. Oh, it does have some color in there. And then also some black and white. But 1950s. All right, so there's a bunch of these. I honestly don't know if they're worth money. Um, a lot of money in paper and stuff like that, so. Actually, let me bring this up. It may be easier to do here. So it's basically a space magazine. Um, here's the back of it. This is volume two. It's all about man in space, basically. So let me know if you guys have sold any of these before. This is volume four, so we'll see. We have two and four so far. I'm assuming we have one through four. Yep, this is volume one, the first small step. So probably it's just like the journey. But introduction, all that. Wow. Hey, let me guess volume three. Yep. I know um, NASA and that sort of stuff, especially the old NASA stuff. Anything space um, seems to do well. A lot of collectors out for that. So, got four of those books. All right, the next one. Now it says the new Webster. <laughs> um, I don't know how old this is, but um, yeah, it's in pretty good condition. And let's see. Look at the pages on that, wow. All right, let's open this thing up. Look at that. And there we go. Okay, this one says 1969, so basically 1970, 70s-ish, right? Anyways, guys, I should have a number in here that I can look it up, see if it's worth anything. I don't, it's not extremely old, but who knows. All right, we have the next one. Basic Mathematics for Electronics. And this is the second edition. That's the side of it. And... Here we go. This one says 1960. So, there's some, okay, here's another Bible. Leatherback Bibles always do well. Should have a number right here. Oh no, it's probably inside then. Let's open it up, sorry guys. I hate to show any personal information. Oh, this is actually 1982, so it's not even that old. Um, you know, it's old. You gotta think 1982. What, that's 36 years ago? I don't know, around there I can't. That was just quick math, but. Another Bible. It will still sell though. I mean, I'll still be able to sell that bad boy for 25 bucks or something. I would have to look. Another Bible. All right, move right along. Oh, man. That is my least favorite word right there. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't mind math. 
I don't mind. Five, two, three, four, eight. Uh, but some of the stuff is worth money. I don't think this is. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. This is 1958 on there. So definitely older. And it's in really good condition. So. Let's look at this. Oh. Huh. This may be actually worth money. Singer is a pretty good brand. Um, I actually bought a Singer because I was going to do embroidery on clothes, on t-shirts. Um, but that never panned out. So I'll have to look on this one and see. This one says 1949. That was when it's copyrighted. So I would say, what, basically 1950s based on this, right? But yeah, this actually may be worth some money, a 1950s Singer book with patterns and stuff like that. So, all right, box is empty. Let's continue. Now, now I think it was Don, the auction professor. If you guys have not seen Don, the auction professor on YouTube, you should, he is really cool. Shout out to Don. If you guys go to his channel, the auction professor on YouTube. Let him know that I sent you. Um, but honestly, he is one of the very few people that I just really enjoy watching his videos. And extremely knowledgeable, a really cool guy. If, if you guys do not have a dad in your life, he would have been one that you would want to have. He is such a cool guy. Um, but yeah, book two. This may be worth some money. I had to look it up. It's in pretty good condition. Look at that, isn't that crazy? Just the stuff they had in there. Um, you gotta look out for first editions. And I can't remember the word for it, oh, this doesn't have it, but sometimes in the older books they have like the image and color, but it's actually not in the actual page, it's like on top of the page. I forgot what that's called, but those go for good money too. Um, but look at all the colors in this book, it's crazy. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Let's see. Did I see a date on here? Oh, 1931 is when it was copyrighted, but what's the actual date? Anyway, um, who knows? Maybe I'll have to read this when I uh, <laughs> get when I get home to Cade. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's the book there. We only have a couple more books, guys. In fact, three more books. So this is interesting. Look at the, oh, it was like, they put this over it after the fact. Um, hmm. Engineering fundamentals, 1936. You know, books that do really well off the top of my head, Bibles. Um, also, um, books that do extremely well are old alcohols anonymous books guys if you find old or anything anonymous right but old alcohol anonymous books like the old ones do extremely well also another uh let's see another good book that you guys should get and i know this sounds crazy but old parenting books old books on like parenting like the old ones do extremely well too so if you find old parenting books they do well I sold one for 54 bucks um, about a month ago. And so yeah, so old parenting books, Bibles, that sort of things. That's the kind of stuff you want to look for. And shout out to the Portland Pickers because they're the ones that got me on the parenting book. They're amazing over there, Portland Pickers. But anyways, so. All right, second to last. And I'm sure there's more books that we'll go through later on, but not in this video. Digital Computer Fundamentals, second edition. So, if you guys know anything about these books, let me know. I know probably a lot of them have to do with the ham radio stuff. So, um, yeah, this one says, this is 1966. So, and the last one. A to Bible, or sorry, A to Bible Understanding. I'm looking through the computer, or the, sorry, the, the camera <laughs> when I 
when I hold it, so sometimes it's stuck. I'm not actually looking at the item, I'm looking through the screen. So look at this though. Mm -hmm. So in the 70s, it doesn't necessarily mean the book was 1971, but in the 70s. Let's All right, let's continue and see what the heck's in here. We're trying to bust out a lot on this video. All right, let's look into this, guys. All right, so remember my motto. If it's an old photo, I have no problem showing it because I want to keep the family's privacy as much as I can. But this is an old photo, so I can show this. So this is a 19, it shows it on the back. Um, 19, has his name, so I'm gonna cover it. But 1924, and it says he's a sailor. He's sailing, he's a sailor, so. Uh, yeah, and this is negative, negatives to it. But 1924, isn't that crazy? That's awesome. Awesome photo. All right, we also have a random wallet in here, but look at the quality of this wallet. It's crazy good quality. Obviously you wanna look in every little nook and cranny and make sure there's no cash, right? Um, but yeah, pretty good quality wallet. Somebody's gonna love this thing. And it's in good condition. All right, so this, oh, we also have some keys. Remember, I show you everything. I don't want to hold anything back from you guys. Transparency. All right. Now this is a blanket, so I'm gonna, or no, this is a pillowcase. It's a pillowcase, guys. Look at this. It's an old pillowcase. I mean, it's just crazy. What the quality back then, there's a little discoloration, which is not too bad. Um, but look, it's an old pillowcase. So, all right, that was in there. Let's see what else is in here. We'll grab this thing, ready? Let me flop it up and see what it says. All right. Wow, this is a big sucker. Um, oh, it's, it's a personalized pillow. Or sorry, personalized blanket to the family. So we'll put that in there. Um, I did get a question. I did get a question. You know, like when you go through the, when you buy a storage unit, here's what happens. So you buy, buy the storage unit, depending on your process, right? I own my own box truck. And if you guys haven't seen it, I'll show you guys real quick. All right, so let's show you for all you new subscribers out there. And I, I'm just doing this just to be fun. I don't care, I can show you guys anything. But here you go, it's outside my house. Oh my gosh, look at those things. If you go to usps.com, you can get boxes free. Those are a bunch of boxes, guys. Um, I get to ship stuff. But this is my box truck, guys. It opens from the sides. And that's what I use to get the storage units. So it's really good when you own your own box truck. You don't have to pay. I used to have to like rent a Penske and um, that was kind of annoying because you had to have the stuff back. Cute. What is going on over there? We got some geese. This is outside my house, guys, if you haven't seen it. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's take you back inside. Ready? Anyways, I don't know what I was getting at, to be honest, I forgot, but yeah. So, let's go to the next box, shall we? Put that one over here. All right. This video may be a little longer, guys. I'm just trying to get these videos done. Uh, they're really fun to do. However, we have more storage units we wanna do, so we gotta get this processed. All right, so the next thing is this case here. And it holds cassettes. Now these are brand new, actually, it looks like. I haven't been in here. Those are sealed, brand new. And some, you gotta look, cause I sell these, right? I'm not saying these, I'm just giving you an example. Some of them do better than others, and some of them you would wanna sell separately. And some of them, 
you'll want to uh, lot up because there's two more in. This is three of them. You may want to lot them up and sell them. But before you lot them up, look at the price they're going for because some of those things are good money. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. Wow. Ready? Ooh, we have some stuff to go through here, don't we? All right. Let me put this stuff back. Let's bring this all out here. Just so you guys can see. Is this a music box? No, it's not. I'm like, is it a music box? Okay. All right, ready? So, first of all, the box is really good condition. Um, look at the, uh, oh, let me zoom in here, because a lot of times you can tell how old they are by these ribbit things, whatever they're called. So, I don't know exactly how old this box is, but it's in really good condition. Oh, sometimes by those you can tell too. Let me know guys, what? how old do you think this box is? Oh, we even have a, uh, we even have a uh, manufacturer on here. Nice, let me know guys, art boxes. Let me know how old do you think this box is. Anyway, let's look in here and see what we have, shall we? All right, so we have the box itself right there, and then we have this stuff in it. So, what is that? Is it just like stuck on there? Oh, it's a tassel, but it's stuck on there. That's interesting. All right. Now, Don, I was just talking about the Oxford professor. Professor, He sells a lot of these old um, toys, and some of these things you'd be shocked. They go for 50, 60, 70 bucks. This thing looks like, what is a steel or something? I don't know, it's heavy. Uh, but if you guys know anything about this, or Don, if you're watching, let me know about this bad boy and see if he's worth any money. Let me see if he's got any markings. He's kind of heavy. I don't see any markings personally here yet. But anyways. So we have that. We have a key. Uh, let's see. Let me move the camera a little bit so I can... An old key. Made in the United States. Somebody may buy this key just for the key. Uh, Alright, so we have a pin here. Service pin. What else do we have in here? You know, there's a lot. Oh, yep, Navy. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. We have an old navy pin. Oh, it says something. Is that Navy Society? I don't know. I'll have to look, because remember, it's hard looking through the camera to show you. Here's another one. Here's the back of it. Seattle 1942 is what it says awarded March 17th 1942 is this two pick back in the day they'd use this as a two pick <laughs> Just all right oh look at this that's a cool piece Uh, this was in there. All right, so now we do have some dice in here. Oh, did I not show this? That's a really cool piece too. If you guys know about those pins, let me know. Also, this here. And we also had an old coin, or sorry, an old um, 
key. Uh, there's a couple of these in this unit. Some old keys. A lot of people are saying maybe go to old lock boxes. Or possibly those, um, oh wow, look at this. Just hanging out. All right, so that was what's in there. Um, and then you have the box itself. So this box is, look at the inside. Look at that design. Somebody's gonna love this box. Let me know how old you think this thing is and then also how much it should go for. All right, let's put this stuff back real quick and we'll continue. All right, spear fingers, let's open this thing up. Oh. So you guys probably can't see that very well, but it's kind of rusted off. All right. Oh, wow. Remember, old photos I'm okay with showing just because it's just crazy. I love old photos. Soon that will be us. We'll be old. We'll be considered old in our years. And these will be ancient. Ancient photos. Okay. So there was this in here. I don't know exactly what it's for, but. And that's personal papers. We'll leave that out. This is a dog tag. We'll leave that out because it's kind of personal. See, here's another. There's a bunch of these in here guys just and they sell I sold one recently so if you look it up they you know they don't sell for a ton some sell for good money but yeah genuine leather and what is in here what is in here nothing nothing in there so now this is what I this is pretty cool I th like I don't know this one says my god Bless her, bless you. Um, but I've never seen a Bible like this before, guys. Look how it's got like, it's 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 metal, like a metal little cover thing that goes on it. Have you guys ever seen that before on a Bible? Um, this says the shield and New Testament, and it says 1943, basically. So, um, this is the Bible. This could be worth a little bit of money, this Bible, you know? Um, but yeah, it's uh, really good condition. And so got a little issue there, just like some marks, but yeah. Pretty cool. I've never seen one with that kind of sleeve on it before. So... All right, and then this, maybe one of those keys goes to this. We'll have to see, but all right, let's put this stuff a little way a little bit and we'll get into the next item that's in here. All right, here we go. So, this may be, this may be worth some money. I don't know, it just looks very old to me. We'll have to check it out. The, the pigs on the front dancing. Let me know if you get what you guys think, if you know anything about this, because I don't. Um, oh, this says, man, I can't read that out, but that's the front. It's got a name on there, so I'm just gonna cover that up. It's a kid's book. Now, it does have some markings in there. Um, looks like they were working on their cursive. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> this is Chicago Publishers, New York. Um, let's see, yeah, 1924. Well, copyright 1924, so it doesn't necessarily mean that this was in 1924. So, no, no, it, and it's um, it's it's got to be older than that. So, I don't know how old it is, but because it's got color in it. So I don't think it's 1924, but anyways, let me know guys. Maybe I'll look this thing up, see if it's worth any money. It does have a lot of drawings in it though. All right, what is this? What is this? 
Wow, I gotta show you guys this. This is crazy. Photo. Wow, okay, we gotta go through this. Wish I had my my seat over here. All right, look at this, guys. So this is it. Also, let me show you the back. I gotta be careful with this, though. It's the back. All right. Okay, this is from Italy. From what the cover was saying. Let's see? Alright. Look at the. Wow. Old. And it's all like taped in there or whatever. You got an old dollar. <laughs> it's written on. And then look, just more money in there. It's got newspaper clippings. Basically photos, pilots. Look at those guys back then, they're probably just having a blast. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing! Look at that, wow! Communications, I wonder if he did ham radio. Yes, look at this. This is probably some of the stuff he owns that's in the unit that we're gonna showcase. Look at that. Maybe some of that stuff is in here, I don't know. He was obviously probably a communications expert. And carpenters. And you got old, now these pictures are not part of the, they're like taped in, you know? Look at those, isn't that crazy? Then you have the mechanics. Let me put this down a little bit here and see if this helps. All right, so we left off here. The line. And you got mud, fog. And actually pictures of mud. Tech supply. The specialist department. <laughs> I wonder what that entailed. Operations and intelligence. Radio departments. And it has names down there too. Uh, and then you have... Some crazy parachutes. B twenty fives. I mean these people fought for our country, it's incredible. Camera repair. Camera repair. Photo laboratory. Wow. Photo lab. And then look. Some more pictures here. This is Africa. All these are different areas now. USO. 
Look at that, I'm just having a blast. She was singing her heart out, wasn't she? Look at that picture. Ooh, basketball? You guys don't realize this, but I played a lot of basketball. Look at those nets back then. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, look at those nets, it's funny. Oh, wow. Look at this picture. It's not labeled. Obviously, a, vol uh, a volcano was erupting. Oh, and then more. Midnight Mass. Christmas. Let's see. Flip the pages with one hand. Italy. Look at those guys. It's incredible. All right, let me see if I can flip with this hand here. Here's some more Italy. St. Peter's. Coliseum of Rome. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I have. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. All right, let's continue here. All right. Oh, this is an old work work workbook. So this was just kind of like a, you know, like you would see in schools back then. This may go for, this may actually sell. Portland workbook. That doesn't show a date on here, but hmm. this kind of older photo. What? The ration books? Do they sell anymore? Let's look through here. Let's look through this ration book. Oh wow, it's got a bunch of old photos. Be here next another year. Let's, we'll go through that, don't worry. Let me just see what else is in here. Let me put the camera down, guys, so it's easier for me to show you what's in here. First, we'll show this. Then we'll show the ration book. Look at this thing. Wait, is this a yearbook? It is. West Seattle, 1943. Yearbooks go good, especially if you find people that were famous in there. Yeah, this is an old yearbook. See, see, you see seniors over there? Wow, old yearbooks do definitely sell. Uh, especially family members that probably wanna to try to get some of their family history. You put the year and the school and all that. Huh, wow. We used to make these covers. Do you guys remember the making those covers? Okay, let's go through the ration book now. All right, hopefully you guys can see all this good. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do good camera skills and show you the items. Um, okay, let's go this way towards the light here. Old photos do sell. I think we've seen that one already. Look, he's hanging out with his daughter. Look at that one. Wow.
We've seen that one. If the internet goes down, the world goes down, I think ham radio is the only thing that will communicate. I mean, it could be wrong, but for, you know, virtually if, I don't know a lot about that stuff, but I can tell you that if all that goes down, I think ham, that's ham radio. The end of the world, people. All right, so do we have rations in here though? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he was in the Navy. You see that? And these are, these are old letters, guys. So we'll have to, um, I don't have time to read that old letters, but let's see. Wow, look at this. Happy Easter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, what else do we have in here? Let me see. Oh, some more old photos. Look at this. It's in a, kind of an older frame too. Just crazy. What a what an amazing family. And I don't think anything's in here. Oh, we just have some extras. So you can actually get those developed, I believe. Oh. But all right, guys, this is it. The end of the box. And old key as well. All right, so let's, let me put this away and then we'll continue. And look what I found in another box. <laughs> it's Axel, guys, my youngest. We have Cade. You wanna say hi, honey? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> he loves hanging out with daddy. All right, let's get into this next box. Are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? Big sigh. All right, guys. Let's do this. All right, here is another box, guys. So, we have some sealed VHSs. Again, uh, some of these go for really good money um, if you sell them individually, and then some you have to sell them in a pack. So, or you lot them up. All right, we also have a Kenneth Cole. I don't. I think we opened this one at the main, um, the main video. But these are some older watch bands, so I don't know exactly how old. We'll have to check on that. But so there's that. Let me put you down, actually, guys. Now we have. Look at this, Return of the Jedi VHS set. So normally. This stuff is, doesn't go for a lot of money. I'll have to check, but uh, some VHS do. So have this guy. I want to scan it. I love barcodes. So you can kind of scan and see. This is a VHS set, guys. So we have a doll here. But guys, it's not in there, it's empty. Nothing in there. Well, let me just check, there may be money in here. Nope, nothing. But, guess what guys, this is the doll case to that other doll. So you guys are right, it's probably not worth much, but uh, I need to keep this case. All right, box number, I forgot, three or four. Let's go through this guys. We may go a little quicker here, just because we don't want this video to be two hours long, but we still want to show you everything. All right. So we have a New Testament. Um, Bible here. Leather. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So definitely an older Bible, guys. These handheld Bibles actually do decent. Um, and a lot of people I know lot them up, so. What is this? Oh, this is an old... Um, like notepad. It's kind of full though, but it's just an older notepad. Oh, we don't want to see that. That's personal. Oh, 
What are these things though? I don't understand what these things are. Let me know guys, if you know what that is. Oh, look at that photo. That's incredible. Let's see what else do we have in here. Oh wow, well. the song book. It's not there. Oh wait, it's kind of there in pieces a little bit. So, okay, let's see what else we got. 1948 Woman's Relief Corp. What is this? Huh. Interesting, I'll have to read through that. Oh, wow. All right, let me quickly go through these because I know you guys love old photos. And these are old photos, so I don't mind showing them. Let me set this up real quick. We'll do it like that, like that. I'll turn you guys close to me and we will show you these old photos. We'll kind of go through them quick just to kind of show you a few of them. Wow, do I have that right? It's just astonishing, like we forget or at least I forget sometimes that we've, it seems like you've always had, I mean, I was born in 86, right? Which is, you know, I'm not saying by no means there was like extremely good working computers like today, but you just kind of forget like there's these times without internet, you know? And uh, socializing was completely different back then. In many cases, I kind of envy that, you know, you gotta meet somebody and actually talk with them, you know? Um, or, but then again, I wouldn't give up anything for this. Wow, look at that photo with the dog. It's incredible. Just hanging out. It's a cool photo. Somebody's mom. Look at this photo, guys. Isn't that incredible? Lars photo. Bunch of kind of small ones here. We'll just do kind of the bigger photos just to save time. But, uh, she's pondering. Looks pretty serious in that one, huh? Pretty serious. Look at that one. Wow. Somebody's aunt. So I just wanted to show you those because I think it's way cool. All right. These videos are amazing, guys. I'm putting YouTube videos out there. But when you do these unboxings, I realize like how much work it is. Like it's a lot of work to do these unboxings. And I wouldn't change it for anything. That's why I can't do these for every storage unit because to go through everything just takes so much time. But for units like this that are just so phenomenal, you kind of want to take your time at it, you know? All right. What the heck? Wow, look at that.
That's incredible. Let's open this thing up here. Look at this thing. Here's a little box. Wow. I wonder if it's still, <laughs> I can't play for anything. But this is cool, guys. I mean, I'll have to see if this thing's even worth any money. Oh, see if this thing's even worth any money. But, man, that is awesome. All right, let me put the camera down so I can put her away. That's awesome. Really cool. And we have some dice in there. All right. Oh, my gosh. We just have so much in here. Okay, let me show you guys what's in here real quick. Put this in here. This is a box you kind of want to take your time out a little bit and show you guys. Okay. All right. Oh, I think I... Did I show these? No, these are different. Um, oh, in the main unit, possibly. I've shown these in the main unit. So, oh, maybe that's lost. Isn't that crazy? That's so awesome. There's some really cool people that have served. Honestly, I don't know. I my grandpa was he served in the Navy. My brother served in, I believe, the Army, and he was also in the Air Force. Oop. My dad was also in the service, so he had VA benefits as well. Um, if you guys don't know, but my dad passed away when I was four. And I'll show you something pretty cool here. Sorry guys, this is a mess. So when he passed away, they put a really big American flag over their casket. You guys are probably like, why is this flag over here? It's because this was before. Oh man, I don't know if you can see. Okay, you can see right over there. So that's a uh, normal size American flag. And that's my dad's flag right there. Um, it's never been um, taken out. So when they... You know, and I don't know much about it. I actually took the ASVAB and was going to go into the Air Force, but then decided to do something different. But, uh, yeah, so when he uh, passed away, that was on his casket, and then they rolled up a special way, and it's never been out of that. So I never took it out of that. So I have a lot of respect for people that were in the... whatever service they were in. It's just it's incredible. Oh, here's another one. Have you guys seen Zorro yet, my dog? We'll show him real quick. Ah, right. uh, who are you? Where are you going? <laughs> I blurred out his face, guys, because he didn't want to be uh, seen. Okay, Ooh, look at this. Is this another one? This is another one. Let's see. Let me hold the camera. Wow, there it is right there, guys. There is another one. So now we have two of them. Okay. Look at that. Crazy. Really awesome. This actually looks like 
old ring. It's hard to see. Anyway. Oh, let me switch my sides here. more pins looks like some more rings I'd be shocked if this wasn't gold oh, focus there we go just looks there's some writing in there guys but I can't see it oh let me stand up here okay sorry I'm holding the camera with one hand Trying to show you with the other. Small keys in there. So yeah, we'll put this stuff back real quick and we shall continue. This will be the last box we do guys and I'll split it, the remaining boxes in another video just because this one's getting kind of long. And um, Oh, this is an old address book is what it is. It's got old addresses in there. Be really careful with that stuff. All right. Okay, let's see what's in this thing. And see what's in there. Some more stuff in there, wow. All right. papers so this looks like kind of like an old working you know folder basically let's see what's in here huh got two of these elementary chemistry this is edition one Paper sells, guys. A lot of people don't want to deal with paper, but it's light to ship. This sells. Um, and then it looks like we have a bunch of old, just really cool letters. Old letters do sell. Um, just depends, though. A lot of this stuff needs to go back to the family. Wow, look at that. You know. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's get into this. I'll try not to be shaky because I'm holding the camera. Now remember, I want to keep the family private, so I'm only doing um, really old photos, guys. Really old photos, just to keep them private. So this was back 1920 something, 1924. Just a really cool book. You gotta respect some of these older photos. I think it's just so awesome. This was 1926, Crystal Lake. Mm, look at those kids. No matter how old, they're, <laughs> they're amazing. You know, having two kids under two, guys, it changes your life. You um, look at things way differently. That's really cool. I think that was 1929, this is 1930s. Look at those photos. I wish I had like a machine I can teleport back and just observe and see how things were back then. Maybe get an ice cream for like 29 cents or something. See? Look at that. See, uh, see a picture like that? That's like basically back in the day Instagram. All right. All right. Um, Back in the day, Instagram, that was cool. Can you imagine? Like just doing a photo, a cool photo like that. That was like their their Instagram. So, okay, that's it. That's it. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right. Anything newer, we want to respect their privacy. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
People love these old photos. Oh! Yes, I just thought about that. So remember when I showed you guys the truck? Um, I remember what I was talking about. So, um, you know, a lot of people undo box, uh, they unbox storage units a lot of different ways. Depends on your situation, if you've got help, if you've got a box truck, if you're renting a truck, if you've got a vehicle at all, how much time you have. A lot of places only give, you know, online they give 48 to 72 hours, but when you do a live auction, a lot of places only give you 24 hours. Um, also condition, weather, you gotta think of all that stuff, right? So, um, Basically, the way that it works is when you, at least for me, I go through the unit with you guys to show you the unit. But a lot of people, they don't go through the unit at the facility. They just try to get it all out of the facility, and then they go through the unit either at their warehouse, their garage, wherever the case may be. So, um, when I'm at the facility, if I do run through personal items, birth certificates, like uh, modern pictures, um, you know, tax documents, any kind of financial documents, I'll leave them there at the office. But... Occasionally, when you're a storage unit buyer, when you bring this back to wherever you're bringing it back to, um, you find this stuff as you're going through the boxes. So some of these really old photos, it's debatable. Newer photos, I send right back to the um, family. And even some of these older ones, I send back to the family. You want to try to give back as much as you can. Believe it or not, though, not a lot of people do that. Very little people do that. And then also, um, I know, I think there's a law. I could be wrong. I had to look this up at least here in Oregon, that they have to keep it for 30 days, or is it 45 days? They have to keep the personal stuff and try to get in contact with the extended family. I could be wrong. But the number one rule in storage unit buying is you do not contact the family yourself. I know that sounds crazy. You don't you don't want to do that. Trust me, that's the number one rule in storage unit buying. Um, and you do want, depending on the facility, some really cool managers do try to, in fact, give the stuff back to the family. So anyways, just thought I'd give you that. That's when I was showing you the truck. I completely forgot uh, what I was going to tell you. I guess the main thing with that is, um, yes, doesn't mean it's I'm not going to give it back to the family. It just means this is the first time I'm going through these boxes and it's the first time I'm seeing it too. Hopefully that makes sense. Look at this thing. Look at this. I got the question the other day, how many storage units have I purchased? Um, I purchased over 250 storage units in the last uh, probably four years. And um, it, you know... Um, I wish I I would be like 300,000 or more followers had I done that early. You just don't think about that stuff, you know? You don't think about filming or anything like that. And it does add a lot of time to it too. So it, it's, it's a whole other dynamic. Um, oh, look at that. Is this a Portland dog? Is that dog license tag? Wow. really cool these actually may be ivory guys uh, by the way I had those other turquoise I had those turquoise um, jewelry looked at and they're not real so those that are wondering on the turquoise jewelry they, it wasn't real still worth money people will buy it but it wasn't real what the heck what is this like a tooth or something that's weird little doggy okay we're empty we are empty for that little portion that was right there okay let's look at some other stuff here what is this just like a little magical rug um one second, guys. I'm actually getting a lot of eBay offers here. Oh. Oh, wow. I'll show you this, guys. Um, real quick. Give me one second. Let me try to get this screen working on my phone here. Um, I sold... Okay, do you guys remember that one storage unit video I did where I found... Um, here, let me make sure I don't sell. show this to the buyer. Okay, where I found this, I just sold it. 
buy it now, no best offer for $60. So, look at that, I just sold that thing for 60 bucks. Remember that was on that one video that I found the uh, Mac computer on? So, anyways, all right. So just to show, to show you, I do list this stuff. If you haven't seen that storage unit video, I found a lot of like pirate stuff and Mac um, and all that stuff, so. All right, so we have a lot of old letters here. I'm gonna go through these letters, but just for the sake of time. Wow, look at this. It's my val. Oh, I need to get this listed like soon um, with Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Look at that. That actually may be worth some money there. That is really cool. Some old letters, guys. A lot of old letters. So. I want to go through everything with you, it's just the sake of time is tough, you know? Okay. Wow, look at this. Is this another age five? Somebody made this back in the day at age five. Wow. I always have a soft spot for the children um, and what they do, you know? Got Easter, this must be like a kid's, you know, this must be a kid's, um, like box, it's my Valentine. Look at this card, wow. That is just too cool. They had a lot, like, people think back then they didn't have like a lot of like, ways to make different cool things, but man, they did, didn't they? Like, they made some pretty good quality items. I've gotten a lot of older units before, and this one is a really fun one to go through. Let's see. Old, old train card. To my sweetheart. Trying to do this with one hand. Um, so a lot of like hand done stuff. Okay. All right, let's see what else is in here. Another letter. This is this a picture? Gotta be careful here, can't do it with one hand. Oh wow, look at this. That's showing up. Look how uh, that's an amazing. He's a good looking guy. Probably got all the ladies. Um, wow, look at this. Isn't that crazy cool? Look at that photo. Just everything. What an amazing family. Look how old this photo is. Wow. Let's spend two seconds and look at this. Look at this. Just the whole family. That's a lot of kids. That would, that's a lot of kids. All right. You have to be really careful with this stuff. And I think little cars in the background. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to get it all in. We've got two more boxes. So one more video of the two boxes and miscellaneous. Then we're gonna have one video of all the records. And then, we have, then we're gonna do the massive video with all the electronics. That's probably gonna be an hour and a half long video, but it's gonna show every single electronic that was in this unit. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the red subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you can. That lets uh, YouTube know we're doing a good job here at the Wade's Ventures house and it will, cascade this video out to more people. Um, just want to say I appreciate everybody. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for following me and my family. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this. It's going to be bittersweet to get these videos done, but then it's also going to be good because then we'll do more storage units. So we'll get the storage unit processed and then we'll do more storage units. Can't promise this unboxing for all of them. It's a lot of work and we probably won't do it for all of them. Very select few, only the best. But um, yeah. Have an amazing day, guys. See ya.